What's up guys, Hey King here, bringing you another reaction this month on Attack on Titan, chapter 130. Now, uh, you either either you've seen my reaction to 129, which I either uploaded with with this, or you didn't. Depends on my mood, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm lazy, okay, I'm telling you guys, I've gotten really lazy lately, so this whole isolation thing hasn't been good. But hey, uh, the, the, the restrictions have been lifted uh, this this week, so that's good, that's good news. Uh, did go out today, sort some stuff out, got some new shoes, that was nice, because my old ones were ripping, which I bought like three months ago. So, you know, that needs to be done. But yeah, uh, other than that, uh, life is depressing as usual. <laughs> But yeah, uh, on to this chapter. What happened last chapter? What happened last chapter? Uh, this is either going to be a double reaction video, basically, like, uh, or, or not, maybe. I'll, I'll try and upload it. I'll try and upload it before I upload this, or I'm going to take my time editing this and then uploading it next month. <laughs> it depends how good this chapter is. And holy crap, Loki, you're in my room. I didn't realize that. You, you want to chill there on the bed? Yeah? Buddy? Or do you want to go out? You can hear my, my mom's in the kitchen washing and that, and now he's coming to the camera, smelling it. What do you want to do, buddy? You want to leave, or you want to stay? This cat, man. What do you want to do? Wait here. Wait here. Who you go, you kitty? Who you go, you kitty? I think he wants to leave. Hold on, guys. Come on. Go on. Off with you. Go on, go on buddy. No, no, you're not coming in. There we go. He's gonna he's gonna scratch the crap out of the door now. You just wait. Anyway, what happened last chapter? Uh, the only thing I remember is the deaths. <laughs> Uh, which is the death of McGough and Shardis, which was so unexpected. Having Shardis coming and and sacrificing himself. And the worst part, the worst part is the Alliance doesn't even know Shadis was there, okay? They they know McGough sacrificed himself, but they are not aware that Shadis came to help them, stop, stop the train reinforcements from coming in, and they're not aware that he died alongside McGough, McGough there, so that just makes me sad, man. The guy from the very beginning to the bitter end was just this bystander in the background that no one ever took notice of, and he, he died a hero, basically, and no one's gonna know that. So that's really messed up, like that's really sad and tragic for his character, but uh, it kind of suits him as well, doesn't it? Anyway guys, let's get moving on to this chapter, I've been looking forward to reading this, uh, it's, been, it's been a hell of a wait, yeah? So, and I'm hearing good things about this chapter, like we're finally getting what we wanted to see, so it's like, okay, this, this better be good. So we're starting then. Uh, um, keep in mind, this is like a early translation, so some of it might be off. Chapter 130, Humanity's Breaking Dawn. Ooh. I, I don't know if that's a, that's a grim, grim title there. Compared to the last month's one, which was what, Nostalgia? And it wasn't really nostalgic at all. But uh, let's get to it then. So yeah, Humanity's Breaking Dawn. And we're starting with, uh, they're on the ship. The Alliance is on the ship. Uh, there's, the, there's the dude piloting, controlling the ship. Uh, next to him is uh, Azamobito. Uh, oh, Kiyomi, I think her name is Kiyomi Azumabito, isn't it? Kiyomi, and next to her is Hanji, and uh, Jean and Mikasa have, have Annie. Like, Mikasa's got uh, Annie, like, this way, and Jean's grabbing Annie's hand. Something's going on, some sort of... What's going on? And Hanji's talking. The route to Ohida was decided by McGough and I. There really isn't any other option. Saving Lib Libriano just isn't possible. Wow, I think Annie just... I don't get it. I think Annie just found out about Libriano. Was it Libriano the, the the place that got that got destroyed in in the Marlene arc? Or saving Libriano just isn't possible. So so they're not gonna go to Libriano to save it. I think that's where her dad is, obviously. So Annie's just like horrified. And in the background, you've got Raina there listening in. Jesus, and Rain Raina's looking at Gabby and Peckham's. Those guys, yeah, those guys are pissed. They're thinking about their families as well. And I think I think Rainer's having a flashback to his family. So yeah, his family's pretty much doomed. All, all the families live in Libriano, and that's getting hit first, isn't it? So yeah, they're doomed. And uh, Annie's just Annie's collapsing on the floor. Then now there's no point in me staying here. Oh, and she's remembering her dad. I'm leaving. Wow. She's leaving. She's heartbroken and leaving. So after after waiting so many years for Annie to come back, she comes back, kicks some ass, and now she's deciding to leave. Uh, 
To be fair, her mission was to save her dad. That was the whole point she joined up the Alliance and now that's pointless because they're not going to Libriano, they're going somewhere else to what, refuel and then make their way to wherever Eren is heading heading next. So yeah, shit. Uh damn. But the Hanji's just got this look on her face. Even if I stop and stand my ground, Marlene and Eldio's destruction is inevitable. McGough knew about this. So Hanji and McGough made a plan before, okay. But he risked his life to save you. This isn't about Liberiodo Liber or Marlene anymore. It's about saving the lives of people you don't know. And he entrusted you with this. So Andy's just like, she's got that look where, she's got that look, like that dead look in her eyes where she, you can tell she doesn't give a shit anymore. Like, going back to my first question, can you kill Aaron? I think she's asking, yeah, she's asking Mika so this, I think, at this point. If I try to kill Aaron, will you stand in my way? She's not even looking at Mikasa saying this, and now you've got Reyna and I think uh, Yarnina and Connie coming in. Is is no, it's Armin. It's Armin. Remember, he got shot as well, so he's still hurt, and he's being carried by Connie, and they're coming in listening. And now Annie's looking at Mikasa. I'm done with fighting. You and I, even you guys. Uh, she's referring to Reyna. Yeah, that's that's Armin. They're still freaking coming in blood, blood there in his shirt, and Jean. Even you guys don't want to kill, don't want, even you guys don't want to kill Eren. Yeah, they don't want to, they don't want to kill Eren. And now we're getting a panel shot of the ship with the plane behind it. A bird flying over it. And it's, we're getting a panel shot of the bird just flying. Where does it even start? And now we're cutting that, we're, we're getting a panel shot of, uh, I think we're getting flashbacks now. And now we're getting a panel shot of Eren sitting down by a tree and Mikasa there carrying the wood back then. And now there's a shot of the pigs. No. I think this is Aaron's memories. Is that, is that his dad? It doesn't even matter. And a shot of him kissing Historia's hand. That's when it started. Yeah, we're getting that panel shot of him kissing Historia's hand when, when she was the queen. Even if it was all decided from the start. I wanted this. We're getting flashes of all the horrible shit that's happening. With his friends, his dad, Zeke, everything. Everything that has happened. Okay, we're getting. Oh, okay. This is. Oh, there's, 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 there's. Aaron meeting with Yarlina. Aaron, the only way we can, but we can save both Eldia and the world is to follow the Enufiasm plan. We'll blend Zeke's spinal fluid together with wine, and we'll send it to the higher ups who will oppose us. Zeke believes in you, and I do too. Wow, look, look at the shot of uh, Aaron talking to Yarlina, and, and and who's there listening from behind the corner? It's Flock. Flock knew the entire plan. Oh shit, Flock knew. He's Aaron's talking to Flock. I'll follow Zeke's plan, but I will only pretend to. Same with you. Pretend to follow him, huh? So that's what we'll do. Wow, Flock knew the plan from the get-go. Holy shit, man. Aaron entrusted him with the actual plan. Did he know then what he was... And now, oh, Aaron's talking to Historia, the MPs. Wow, so we're getting Aaron flashbacks. This is Aaron's flashbacks. Holy shit. After so many months, it's what, nearly been a year now, like, we're getting flashbacks, like. The MPs are planning on feeding Zeke to you as soon as possible when he arrives here on this island. You can either run as far as you can or oppose them. I wasn't put here to only take care of cows. I wasn't put here to only take care of, I know, that, that I don't have to run or hide. If this is the most effective way for the island to live through this, I'll follow you. Is this Historia talking to Aaron then? There may be no other way, but when you showed gratitude to me, I was moved. That's enough for me. Even if you're okay with this, I'm not. Oh, well, Aaron's telling us straight up, like, I'm not okay with this bullshit, like, making you a... Uh, what? I will destroy the world. And now, he's, well, now we're back to Aaron talking to Flock. He's doing, is he doing all of this for Historia just because they wanted to make her eat Zeke? And he was like, no, nope. all our enemies, everyone outside paradise, none shall be left alive. No one. Man, Flock freaking knew. He knew what Aaron was planning and he was in on it from the start. And Historia knows as well. But that's wrong. Some people outside the island are completely innocent. Just like your mother, there will be innocents who will be unaware of their fate and death. And Eren's just giving her this look like he just... That just says everything. That says, oh, I, I don't give a shit. I'm well aware. However, the only way to completely end the ongoing hatred is to eradicate the hatred outside this island for good. Wow, this dude is full-on genocide mode. 
Okay, so uh, for all of us that predicted uh, a Code Grease ending, I don't think that's happening anymore. Because this, this pretty much just spells out for us, like, we're getting, this is Eren's POV right now, we're getting. And that pretty much seals his, that pretty much seals the deal, like, this dude is full-on genocide Hitler mode, like, kill everyone, just murder them all, like, he, he's basically the villain now at this point. He's gone hardcore villain style, like, damn, um, Historia. For you to bear children and become a sacrifice, the cycle of letting children eat royals, I won't let that happen at all costs. Aaron, so who's the baby daddy? That's what I'm wondering. Like, is Aaron the daddy then? Aaron, she's crying. If you do this, we'll live with the guilt for the rest of our lives. If you can't live with it, I can. If you can't live with it, I can manipulate your memories using the Founding Titan. But if you stay still, that's you can do it. You, you save, you save me. I was saved by the worst girl in the world. Oh yeah, Aaron's having remembering. Remembering when Historia saved his life, the worst girl in the world, yeah. And and she even said it herself. She a historian that moment when in the uprising arc when, when she was saving Eren's life, she even said, Screw the world and that. She said those, those were her words, so Wow man, this is getting intense. Uh that's crazy man. So Flock knew. Historia knew. So they were in on in on it, and Aaron even says, like, if you're not happy with it, I'll just I'll just wipe your memories of it. There you go, no guilt, like, god damn. And now we're cutting to Aaron with Zeke and he's playing his ball. Headache. It must be a Pacific side effect for Ackermans. I doubt previous Titan shifters or even Mr. G Kesavia ever had them. Xavier, maybe it's supposed to say Xavier had them. Records say that when the inst when the when the instinct of an Ackerman is stimulated, the host activates its senses. The habit of protecting the host. Do you think that's even possible? Mikasa. That Ackerman girl you mentioned. I believe her motivation for always rushing to your rescue is pretty self-explanatory. Yes, it's weird seeing these two talk like, like normal dudes, like... And is this before? I think this is this is when they is this when they're on the blip? No, because Zeke's got his arm and no, there's a wall there. So this is when they were in Marlene because Aaron's got the crane and that and he's still got the eye patch covered. So yeah, this is when he was in Marlene, me or Zeke, me. Yes, I believe she'll follow you for thick and thin, but not out of pure instinct due to her Ackerman genes. But because she loves you. Oh man, Zeke, the, the older brother telling his little bro what it is, like, dude, nope, she's not following you because of some instinct, she's following you because she generally freaking loves you, like, so Aaron, what will you tell her? This is so freaking, <laughs> look at Isayama pulling this shit, you, you've, you, 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 you've got, you've got this whole moment, right, with Aaron Historia talking, and him saying he's gonna do all of this to save her, and then you've got this stuff with Aaron and Zeke, Talking about Mikasa and him saying how Mikasa loves him, and now it's like, and it's kind of between him, Aaron, talking to his story, and, and Aaron talking to Zeke about Mikasa, like, then Aaron. So, is this what we're gonna find out who Aaron chooses then? Is this gonna be, or is this gonna be more of the shipping war we keep getting? Is it gonna be Erahizu, Iramika? Like, uh, I personally. Honestly, I don't really care who he gets on with. Honestly, I, I think I'd prefer Historia, maybe, just because I'd prefer him to be the baby daddy, but like, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Uh, and they're still talking. He's getting flashbacks to Historia here. Now he's coming back to Zeke. Uh, Aaron, what are you even thinking about? For now, at the very least, I can only live for four more years. And now Historia's like, how about I bear a child? So did Aaron, did Aaron plant the seeds of Historia getting pregnant into her? So... It says, how about I bear a child? It doesn't say we, it says I. So is Farmer Coon the father then? Or is Aaron the dad, like... And now we're getting a shot of a... Oh, that's just freaking grim. Uh, we're getting a shot of Aaron with, the, with a, some big-ass knife, and he's cutting through his leg. I mean, this is showing, yeah, this is showing how Aaron lost his leg, sneaking into the Marlene uh, encampment. He, he's, he's cutting it straight through, and, he, and he's got, like, a piece of thing whatever in his mouth to stop himself from screaming like he's pushing that knife down Jesus Christ and when I die the lives will continue and at least I hope they will so who's that talking I don't get it and there's oh man Aaron, Aaron is grabbing a bullet I don't I don't yeah it's an empty shell it's an empty shell case because the bullet tip is not there and he just jammed it into his eye Jesus Christ man 
He jammed it into, he took a bullet shell and he jammed it into his eye. This dude is hardcore savage, man. Like, Jesus, the determination on this dude. Continue, well, continue. At least I hope they will continue to live peacefully. He's having flashbacks to when, when... Who is that? Is that, is that, is that the uh, kid with the hat? They were meeting, they, were, they helped, there's Zeke, there's his friends on the blip of Falcom and Gabby. Now he's remembering his friends. There's Marlo and there's Flock as well. The day, I think this was like the last day when they were having when they were having that big meat meal before the return to Shingongshia. When everything was peaceful and nice. The birds flying and now we're getting a now we're getting a shot of uh, some ships and these ships are coming forward and they're not going backwards, so I think this bird is reaching the coast of Marlene. World Union Fleet. We have the world's largest cannons on the planet. I I gathered it here. Humanity's hopes are aiming toward the same goals. This massive fleet can't, can't, there's no B, can't be stopped. If we can't stop this, humanity will cease to exist. Employ ground forces. Oh my god, and then the ships are basically creating a blockade, and in the distance there's massive amounts of smoke coming from the ocean, like, are we going to see the, there's a lot of smoke, it's like a huge freaking tidal wave just coming forward, and, and, yeah, they're guarding. They're guarding the the mainland. Basically, you can see you can see the entrance to the mainland there. Like, and now the guys like fire basically, and they're shooting. They're shooting at the. Oh my god! Oh my god! The colossal titans, guys. What did you imagine it would look like when the colossal titans were going through the war? Did you imagine they would be like floating, going like that, just walking like Godzilla style? Or did you imagine they would be underwater, just walking through the ground like parts of the Caribbean Black Curse style? Because yeah, if you all thought that, you, we were all wrong. No, they're swimming. The Titans are literally swimming. I mean, they're swimming. Legs and everything. They're, they're swimming. They're swimming. On, wow, and, and you got the Marlene shooting at them. Jesus, that's, a, that's such a cool freaking panel drawing there. Like, wow. You, you see some of them getting hit. One, one just got blasted there. The firing, the firing, it's no news, one of those just went onto the ship, you can see the silhouette, oh man, man, and they're looking down, and now they're burning the steam that's emitted from it, and it's in the water as well, and that steam is still pouring out, it hits some of them, the hats are going off, oh my god, and now the, now the colossal tides are standing up, oh, they've arrived at the, at the mainland, they're standing up, Oh, this panel is beautiful. Is this a double spread image here? Because that is beautiful. That's such that's such great artwork. Um, that's gonna be a thumbnail there. Like, goddamn. Wow. That's a brilliant. That's brilliant. So they're standing up. They're standing up. They're smashing. For the, one of them is just knocking the ship over as it's getting up. Like, like this is the ship. This is taking up. It's just getting up. They're all coming up. <laughs> Steam everywhere. Oh god, we're getting the rumbling, guys. We're getting the rumbling, like goddamn. And they're still shooting, and they're still coming, and the soldiers are just like, yeah, it's not doing anything. Just run, run. Yep, they're running. They're running. Some of them are still shooting, but the others, but some of them are choosing to run. We're cutting to the soldiers on the mainland. They're running. They're running away. One of them's pointing, and oh my god. What the hell is that? Uh, wow, uh, that's such a weird shot. You've got all the Colossal Titans. And then you've got Eren's Titan. Which is like twice or three, three or four times the size of the Colossal Titans. Jesus. And it looks so weird. I can't even describe it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's weird. How is he walking? How do I even describe this? It's impossible to describe this. Im imagine a bulb, right? And then out of it is, is a bunch of rib spikes. And then from the side, it's like spike legs, whatever, coming down. And then from underneath, you basically got like the, the torso part of the body. And it's like the hands are like, like that, but it's hanging. And there's Eren's head like... Like... That, I can't even describe that. That is so weird. That is so weird. Jesus. And no way. That has to be in there. They're seeing Eren's Titan form. 
He looks like the devil here, man. Like, like giant elf ears and everything, like the attack titan. That's so weird how Eren's titan is, like, and all the hair is just coming down, like... Like, his head is here, and then up there is his, is his, is his spine and hands, and... How is he walking? That's such a creepy image, like, Jesus. And they're shitting themselves, like, the soldiers are shitting themselves, like, what the hell? And uh, now we're flashing back to the day when Dina ate Carla. Wow, you can see Carla's legs going in. Tune them, and there's there's Harness rescuing Mikasa and Aaron, and Aaron's looking since that day. Without ever stopping once, he has kept moving forward. Oh man, that spine thing is massive. How is he walking? Like, that thing is like a tail, like, it keeps on going and then hanging. How is he walking? Is there little legs on the on the spikes? Or is that, like, spider legs? Or is he getting carried? Or is he floating? What the hell? End of chapter 130. And that was it. Wow, that chapter felt short. Is it just me or did this chapter feel short? Usually, like, it's like, I do, like, four parts for this. Now, it's only two. Uh, wow, it's over. That was quick. Um, I guess mostly because there wasn't a lot of dialogue, I guess. Most of it was just shots, really. Uh, that's crazy, man. Aaron's Titan form is just weird. Like... Wow, and you've got the Titans basically arriving in the city. They've, they've, they've reached it. They've reached the city. They've reached the mainland. They're smashing through the buildings and stomping on everything. Wow, man. Uh, and Marlin's doomed. Marlin's doomed, basically. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, on a, as, uh, this is a pretty weird chapter. I mean, uh, review time. So, so. Historia and Flock were in on it. They knew what Eren's plan was from the get-go. Now, we still don't know who Historia's baby daddy is, but Historia was the one who basically mentioned, should I get pregnant? I should become pregnant, basically, blah, blah, blah. And Eren is doing all of this to, to save her and his friends and, and Paradise, Paradise, basically. He doesn't care about the world. He literally doesn't care about the world. At this point, he's given into because he can see the future. He knows what's going to happen next, so he, he probably knows, and he's given into it. Uh, and he's given up, so she she wants to quit now. So she's probably going to either get off at whatever port those guys land on, so they can get the plane ready, or her, her mind's going to be changed. Don't know. Flock Flock is still definitely alive. I mean, the fact they even brought him up in this chapter just is like a big foreshadowing. That, yeah, he knew. He's aware. He's definitely going to be alive. He, he's probably on the ship. He's definitely on the ship somewhere. Like, I mean, he fell in the uh, water for Christ's sake. Unless he's following behind with another boat or something. He's definitely he's definitely going to be revealed on the uh, on the ship. Maybe he's on the plane. Like, they open the plane and there he is sitting there. And he shoots them like, boom, done. Uh, that would be a twist. Um, wow. We we saw how we saw how Aaron cut himself up and had to infiltrate Marlene. He's talked with Zeke. His thoughts on Mikasa. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't even give a shit about Mikasa. He doesn't really. Uh, to be honest, he didn't say anything really about Mikasa. Zeke just pretty much straight up told him Mikasa loves him. That's what it is. She loves him. He, he didn't reply about that. I, I guess I guess since he was aware of that, since Zeke told him that, and that day when he was questioning Mikasa. I think I think before all of this crap went down when he was questioning Mikasa and he's like, what am I to you, family or... And Mikasa, I think she said family, right? I think at that point Aaron was just like, yeah, forget it, that's it, that's done, that's the choice, you know. And Zeke is telling him otherwise. I don't know, like, too much shit happening, man, like, uh, and it feels so short as well, like, it feels like a very short chapter. Uh, this is the end of volume 32 as well, I think, yeah. This is the end of volume 40, 32. So that means, uh, as estimate-wise, we probably have four or five more chapters left. I'm going to say five more chapters. We're going to get one extra chapter in a volume for 33. Because I do think it's going to come to it. I don't, I don't, uh, there isn't a lot more you can do. Like, what, 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 what more is there left to do? Think about it. 
that, you, that the alliance is going to get to to the to Mahoney, whatever. Uh, they're going to fix up the plane and they're going to probably take off from there, right? And then they're going to fly to Aaron and they're going to try and stop him. And Armin's going to have his little talk nijutsu, uh, which is obviously going to fail because he's not going to be able to talk Aaron out of this. He's not going to talk him out of this crap. Uh, we still need to know who uh, uh, Historia's baby daddy is. Um, and what happened to Flock? So, and, and what happened to Zeke? We still don't know what happened to Zeke. Like, uh, I'm assuming Zeke is part of this. Like, he's probably, probably somehow transformed alongside Eren into this form. I'm thinking he's in there somewhere. So, that, that needs to play a role, I think. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I honestly see this, see this coming to an end very soon. Like, Isayama can wrap this up very quickly. He can. I think. I think four or five chapters is enough to wrap this up. So I do think. I think. I do think the Attack on Titan manga is going to come to an end by, by either November or December. So. So yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Next. The next. Starting next month, we're going to be on the final volume. Like so. Because I don't see this going on for another ten chapters. I just don't. I don't. I don't see this going on for another ten chapters. Especially since the final season of the anime is coming out as well. And you know you they have to sort of, uh, and that's going to be very hard to 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 cut down and pace because like, essentially essentially this is like three arcs now technically you've got you've got the Marlene arc you've got the Paradis arc which people have been saying is the final arc and then technically speaking you've got the Rumbling arc so if you count like that I mean, uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think how many. When did, when did the arc start? Volume 33, yeah? So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 27, 28, 29, 30. 30, yeah, that's that's four volumes for one arc. So that's two cores of, of material there. Then 31, 32, 33. And that, that will be a third. So yeah, a final season has to be freaking long. It, it, can't, it can't be 22, 25 episodes. It has to be at least 30, 32 episodes in order to adapt all of this, because I just don't see it happening, do you know what I mean, like, with the extended amount of stuff we've got, and, like, it's crazy, because I, I thought this this would end, like, what, like, last, not, like, last volume, and it didn't, like, it just kept on going, so, yeah, like, it's crazy, uh, it's crazy. Decent chapter, decent chapter, Eren's Titan form is freaky, like, I want a good look at the full thing when we get to it, uh, but I'm just curious how they're gonna fight it, I still say someone is gonna kamikaze fly the plane into him, so... And I, and I see Levi doing that because he's got no fingers. So what better way to fight then? So yeah, um, decent chapter. We finally got that Aaron POV that we wanted, which pretty much revealed that yeah, he's 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 gone he's gone full onto the dark side at this point. And I get his reasoning. I do. I understand his motivations. I do. But goddamn, if if we were expecting some sort of happy ending, we're not getting it. This chapter pretty much confirmed we're not getting a happy ending. A uh, bit bittersweet, a hardcore dog. At, th at this point, I'm expecting everyone to die. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're getting that missed ending that Isayama said he was gonna do. I mean, he said he wanted he was he changed it and he was gonna do a Guardians of the Galaxy style ending. But uh, I don't see that happening now. I'm 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 seeing I'm seeing death flags. I'm seeing like. Dead ass, dark ass ending. So, next chapter, I'm just expecting to see Marlene's running for their lives, getting murdered. That's what I'm expecting next chapter. Like, just total carnage as Libriel gets destroyed. Goddamn. Decent chapter, man. Anyway, guys, hope you like my reaction today. As always, like and subscribe wherever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.